am Laura Nickerson giving you the buzz on local news and events. It's been a pretty rough beginning to 2020 here in our community, and sometimes it's hard to know how to explain recent events to our children and our families. So we're here today at the Calabasas Pediatrics and Wellness Center in Old Town Calabasas, where Dr. Tanya Altman can give us a little guidance. With the recent tragic death of Kobe Bryant, many parents are asking me how to talk to their kids. The first thing you want to do is listen to what your kids already know and how they feel. I mean, this was their childhood hero, and so of course they're going to be upset. The second thing is to empathize and say, it's okay, you know, mommy and daddy are really sad too. This was personal for everyone. And the third one is to try to make your kids feel safe. So keep them in their usual routines. Talk to them about all the people helping keep your family safe when you travel. And if your children still have any concerns or issues seem to be going on, then always talk to your own pediatrician for help. Every year, the Calabasas community rallies around those affected by cancer with the Relay for Life event. Join them as they kick off this season's festivities. Wednesday, February 12th at 7 p.m., head over to De Anza Park for the Roaring Twenties Survivor and Kickoff event. We're honoring our cancer survivors with a party of music, singing, and dessert, plus kicking off the 2020 Calabasas Relay for Life season. Contact Brenda or Stephanie at 818-312-0796 with your questions. It's the perfect time to support the American Cancer Society in their fight against cancer. The damage that our beloved Grape Arbor Park suffered during the Wolsey Fire has been repaired and it is back open for business. Time for a party. Join us for a fun party to celebrate the reopening of Grape Arbor Park on Friday, February 7th at 4 p.m. You can bring the whole family out to enjoy hot dogs, games, and music. The cherry on top? The Cheesecake Factory is providing cupcakes. There's basically no way to say no to that. It's cold and flu season here in Calabasas, and adding to our worries is this new outbreak of the coronavirus. So Dr. Altman, how can we keep our kids and our families safe? Coronavirus is similar to the flu in that it causes fever, cough, runny nose, respiratory symptoms, and it's transmitted through respiratory droplets. So right now, everybody's asking, how can we keep our family safe? Well, the most important thing is to teach your kids about proper hand washing. 20 seconds with water and soap. Also, if you're gonna touch surfaces, don't forget that there are germs on every surface. So before you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth, because that's how viruses enter your body, you always wanna wash your hands as well. Teach your kids to cough into the crook of their elbow, sneeze and blow their nose into tissue and throw it away, don't stuff it in their pocket. If you or anyone you know has had a recent travel to China within two weeks, has a fever and other symptoms, or your kids are sick and you have any questions, always call your pediatrician or give us a call here at Calabasas Pediatrics Wellness Center. The City of Calabasas is holding a community development forum for a proposed project. Here's why you should attend. The meeting will discuss a proposed residential subdivision on the south corner of Mulholland Highway and Dry Canyon Cold Creek Road. The forum's purpose is to inform neighboring properties, businesses, and community members and hear their comments. The forum will be held at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, February 19th at Founders Hall. So spread the word. Make sure you attend and have your questions answered. Dr. Altman, can you tell me more about the services you offer here? I opened Calabasas Pediatrics Wellness Center to have a place where families can come together again and get all of their mental and physical health needs met. So from babies all the way through college, here at Calabasas Pediatrics, we talk about nutrition, sleep, supplements, brain health, gut health. I help families with ADHD struggles, anything that your family needs to be healthy, prevent illness and disease, to fix whatever issues you have going on, and to really create a state of wellness. So that way your kids can grow and thrive and succeed in life. Sounds amazing. You can visit calabasaspedswellness.com to get more information on this incredible resource right here in our own backyard. I'm Laura Nickerson and I'll see you soon right here on The Buzz.